Normally, when a band releases an album and it goes to number four on the Billboard charts, you call that a success. But in 1987, Def Leppard had spent three years and sunk millions of dollars into their album Hysteria. Just to recover the costs of making it, they needed the record to be an absolute smash. Yeah, the album came out, it didn't do that great initially. We had le released three singles and we hadn't broken even. We were still in debt with the label. Those three singles, Woman, Animal and Hysteria, were released over a period of a few months before their fourth single, Pour Some Sugar On Me, was released in September of 87. Unfortunately, the song still did not propel the album to the success they were hoping for. That song was a semi-hit in, in England. It was a top 20 hit, but not like, you know, number one for seven weeks. Right. It was a top 20 hit. In America, it absolutely failed at rock. It was just came out and they were like, ah, too pop, not interested. Little did they know, but the release of Pour Some Sugar On Me developed an odd sort of grassroots movement. Then in Florida, some of the ladies that dance on poles, they started dancing to this song because of the tempo was, I remember Mutt saying when we wrote it, it's got to be danceable. So it wasn't, we didn't do it fast, we did it very mid-tempo. And six months after it was like not a big hit on rock, it started getting requested because it's getting danced to in strip clubs and then the people leaving the strip clubs are requesting the song on radio. And it literally spread from Florida all the way across to the West Coast like a wildfire. A full year after the album's release, this newfound interest in the band propelled the record to the top of the charts. Hysteria would go on to sell more than 20 million records, putting it in the top 60 most albums ever sold in music history. But to this day, the guys in Def Leppard still credit Pour Some Sugar On Me for that success, and more specifically, those Florida pole dancers. We were touring Europe while this was happening. We came back in the summer of 88 to this song being huge. Some songs just click for no reason. And it was the most important song on the album. In America, it just kind of, it, it took off from there. And album went to number one, song went top five. I mean, ev everything about it. So it, it was actually the most important song on the album. We still to this day are always thankful for the dancers in Florida spreading the word. And then it just going crazy across America and then across the whole of the world and remains a hit.